that I call the member for Wentworth. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister for the Environment. Will the Minister update the House on how the Morrison government is supporting economic reform through major environmental initiatives in waste and recycling? The Minister for the Environment has the call. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Can I thank the member for Wentworth and acknowledge the work he's doing in support of recycling in his electorate, including good work with Randwick Council and their curbside collections? Because, Mr Speaker, Australians want to be confident that everything they put in their recycling bin will be collected and recycled, not sent to landfill and not shipped overseas. As the Prime Minister said, it's our waste, it's our responsibility. And that's why today the government introduced legislation that will implement the waste export ban agreed by Australian governments in March, and also the legislation reforms the Product Stewardship Act. I want to pay special tribute to the member for Brisbane, an assistant minister for waste reduction, who has done fantastic work and effort towards achieving these landmark reforms. The Recycling and Waste Reduction Bill 2020 will phase in the end of 645,000 tonnes of unprocessed plastic, paper, glass and tyres that Australia ships overseas each year. It complements the Morrison government's billion-dollar transformation of Australia's waste and recycling capacity by helping to build onshore demand for recycled content. It will create more than 10,000 jobs, many of them regional, and divert over 10 million tonnes of resources from landfill. Now, industry and communities have supported this waste export ban, which they view as a positive catalyst for change, and they're joining with us. Trolleys made from recycled milk bottles, toner cartridges going into asphalt and green steel. And in my hometown of Albury, a company called Plastic Forests making plastic fence posts using soft plastic to help with bushfire recovery. We've backed in the waste export ban with the most significant package of policies and funding commitments on recycling and waste ever brought forward by a federal government. This includes a national waste action plan that will achieve an 80 per cent average recovery rate across all waste streams, stronger Commonwealth procurement guidelines, halving the amount of organic waste sent to landfill. We're leading substantial investment in recycling through a new $190 million recycling modernisation fund, which will leverage $600 million of new investment in recycling infrastructure. Australia's first national plastic summit was hosted by the government in March. It mobilised major pledges from leading companies, including the Pact Group, Nestle, McDonald's, Coca-Cola and Coles. Its outcomes will help inform our first national plastics plan. Our practical approach on tackling waste and recycling is consistent with our strong record of environmental achievement. Waste is not just an environmental problem to solve, it's an economic opportunity to create, and the Morrison government is seizing that opportunity.